Yeah, hello. Uh, I had a dream last night that I think was really important. So I want to share this with uh, everyone who is um, available and feel like they should watch this uh, in the name of Jesus. So uh, I'm Eric and I'm a Christian. I live right now in the northern part of Sweden. And this dream uh, was about prayer and uh, yeah, the spiritual realm and uh, what I and what others uh, should do, I think. So I'm reading here from the side uh, things that I've written down. Uh, so let's go. So I was in a city which I didn't know and I was outside and it was summer and it was, uh, it was great. I was standing out, uh, it, was, it was a blue sky and but something was wrong in the air. So I saw airplanes uh, that were flying some were big, some were small, some were high up in the air and some were uh, close to the ground. Some were, were like very close to, to crashing and others not. Uh, so I started to pray and I prayed. Uh, so I started to pray for the first plane. It was a private plane, I realized afterwards, but it's a small one. And I prayed, uh, oh, God, I pray that this plane is going to uh, uh, not crash. It's going to not crash in Jesus' name. And I turned around and I looked at it and I prayed and I prayed. Uh, and then eventually then I got uh, faith that, okay, it's going to be, uh, the people there is going to be uh, doing all right. And then it disappeared over a um, house or something. And I went after running to look for it and see what happened. How did the people in it uh, do? And then I had to stand and wait and see uh, like if they were supposed to come out. And uh, so I saw eventually that um, a man came out and I was like uh, uh, interested in how he was doing it. He was like, yeah, yeah, it was uh, uh, fine, of course, of course it was fine. Uh, and that was very strange, but he, he was uh, not touched by, by anything. Uh, a little bit depressed, I think he was. Um, okay, so he was fine. And then I uh, turned around and I ran back to my place and I stood and I look up. And I, then I see a big uh, passenger plane close to the ground it's supposed to crash it's about to crash and I start to pray oh no this plane it has to uh, make it in Jesus name it's not gonna crash it's not gonna crash but then it crashed uh, quite soon after I started to pray and um, and yeah so the difference here between those with uh, for the first plane I had uh, more time and I prayed until I have faith for it to happen. I was worried then also, but for this bigger plane, I was really worried and I didn't have much time. So I prayed, but uh, didn't have much faith and it crashed. Um, yeah, so then I got the thought that I should uh, uh, go and see also how this plane, how the people in this plane uh, did. Did they make it? And can I help with some in some physical way? For example, I could maybe, yeah, if someone was hurting, I could, um, yeah, you know, take care of them or call an ambulance or something. Um, but yeah, so that was my plan. So first, I saw a man right in front of me. Um, it was, uh, this was a big man, like a healthy, a bit older, like uh, old, older in a, in a bad way. But he, he was like muscular, strong, and like uh, he was uh, cool, you could say. You know, he, he was relaxed. But he was just standing there and he looked straight forward and was like interested in himself. He didn't see any other planes. 
and I, I, I thought like hey what um, why are you like this you should be you should be like me and uh, worry about the people and worry about the planes and, uh, uh, and pray if you can but he didn't do it so he was kind of uh, uh, in the flesh this man uh, and um, yeah so then I went uh, I was supposed to go to this big plane and see how they how they did the crash plane so in order to get there I turned to the left and I saw that it was like a, uh, in the ground it was like a, a hole in the ground um, maybe like in Alice in Wonderland or, or something I haven't seen any of the movies or, or read the, the book but it was like a, a tunnel down which was perfectly fitting for my body but uh, not any it was very tight and so I went down there it was like a 20 meter um, ride you could say down uh, and then I boom I landed and I landed in like a like a hotel landscape with pools and people uh, lying on uh, summer beds by the pools uh, you know worldly people they were kind of bored maybe read a book or just uh, didn't do anything and I tried to see where the plane was uh, but I couldn't um, and when I was down here in this place it was harder to see the airplanes uh, in the air what I did see was some buses that were like uh, on a bridge but they were like uh, slowly like going up in the air ascending uh, into the air and I prayed against that that no these buses should stay on the ground uh, in Jesus name so like uh, I think that this place symbolized the world so I was not up in the city I was down in, in the world uh, trying to fix things in a worldly way you know try to fix the people in the uh, in the plane in a worldly way and I saw the buses who are in the world who were uh, going up and I tried to but that was not as urgent or important as the planes so I wanted to go up again to the planes and pray for that but it was very very hard to come up to, to go up the tunnel it was you know super tight and like 20 meters I could not um, I could not uh, go up there or I didn't see any immediate way to go up and then the uh, dream ended So I want to make a, a few uh, comments on this dream. So the first one is, of course, that we should be careful not to go into the world. Um, because first of all, that could uh, waste time. You know, it, it is good to, go, to do good deeds also, to take care of uh, uh, needs where we see them. But I don't think that we should run after things. Especially like if there's been a plane crash, I mean, what, uh, and there are other planes <laughs> up that you could uh, that you could instead instead of going after the people in the crash plane, you could pray for planes uh, so that they don't crash because people in the crash plane don't have that good um, outlooks, I think, in in life. So we should do. We should be in the spirit and pray instead of going into the world. And when we go down into the world, it might be hard to come back. Both if we do it like permanently, like for months or something, or if we just we are in the spirit praying maybe for an hour or two hours, and then we go down in the world. It might be hard to come back up again. So be careful. Uh, to all of us, uh, me also definitely. Yes, 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 and then, um, then some other points. Um, 
is um, I, I want to say I had a short dream after uh, the first one here which uh, ties into it and there I was in a big sporting uh, hall you know uh, yeah which we have in, in Swedish schools you know where you could play soccer indoors or handball or basketball or any type of sport um, so there were people down it was night and there was Christians uh, sleeping in beds and then um, other mattresses on the floor so I was awake for a while during the night and went up uh, walking a little bit uh, and for the others, uh, well, many others were sleeping, but some were talking to each other in a, in like a disgusting and proud way uh, to each other, uh, like chit-chatting about something uh, uh, not so very good. And some other person was looking at some movie in the bed. Uh, uh, being like lazy and the sound should have been disturbing for the others in the room so these people were like uh, fleshly happy with false smiles and laughters and I didn't feel good that they didn't think about the spiritual and just uh, wasted time uh, so that's linked into this we should be careful about that mm, you know we should either sleep to get rested and then uh, yeah, to the work, or we should um, be up at night and pray if we feel like it. So, I want to make a few comments now on a few more comments on uh, how to pray for the planes because I got some insights that uh, from God that was uh, really good. So, uh, one of them was that. Uh, we should really pray in faith that is what counts so of course you can pray uh, you can pray from a pure heart and things will happen because God sees the prayer of a, of a pure heart but if we pray in faith we can be extremely effective authoritative we know that when we pray things happen so it was very good for some planes when I was up there I just prayed shortly it was maybe it took like five seconds I prayed for a plane and I got total insurance that this plane is gonna be alright all right so then I could just move on to the next plane and pray for that it was very effective and when I was doing this it was uh, fun <laughs> Because I felt like yeah, I felt like a hero uh, in some way. Like wow, I did this. I saved the plane in a short amount of time, and it was like no struggle. I could just stand where I was outside. It was. Uh, I didn't care about like how how I was feeling, but I like, yes, it would was a nice place to be in. Uh, I think. And it was, it was valuable, very valuable. So a next thing, next comment is to take care and pray for all the planes that I see. So if I see a plane, then I should just, that is uh, going down or a plane that has some issue, I should pray for that plane simply. Uh, so that could be, for example, me or uh, some of us getting a message like, hey, hey, can you pray for this? Instead of just uh, ignoring the message, we can say, yes, uh, I'll pray. I'll pray for uh, 10 seconds or 5 seconds. And then it's uh, sealed. It's settled in heaven or bound in heaven whichever uh, is required so it's quite easy when you pray in faith um, and 
I learned that it was very important with specific prayers. Um, so I, when I, I saw a plane, I just prayed for that plane until I had faith that it was going to be all right. Then I could move on to the next plane. So not be anxious about that there was like uh, maybe 10, 15 planes that I could see in the air. Yeah, yeah, maybe five, yeah, five, ten, it depends. Um, in the air that I could see it, that I knew was there at the same time. But I know that it was best to focus on one and fix that and move on to the next. And uh, yeah, that is uh, what I wanted to say. And then the last thing, two two more things was that. Um, first, the, then I after this I jumped on a on a prayer meeting. It was in the morning with a couple of uh, Christian brothers, um, and they like got messages like on this topic that uh, what we bind in heaven is bound and what we lose is loose and uh, news are coming from heaven to the church like through you and me and it's like a message to the brothers and and all uh, these things came and i i just tied that into that well that's for me now that i got this message in the dream and i should share it with others so I, I wanted to say that, that it was like a confirmed by that. So like prophecy, prophecy, conf, prophecy uh, tried <laughs> by some other brothers. And um, uh, yeah, so that's good. And then uh, also a final thing was that the night before uh, this, I had a short, very short dream with a short message that I just want to share the message uh, which I think was that it was not smart not clever and not uh, really any good idea to go into the most evil of them all uh, the prince of uh, princes I mean the devil uh, the evil one from eternity or yeah, not it. He's not eternal, but I mean, uh, he is. He, I guess, he knows what he's doing, and he is. Um, he's like mature. So what I was doing was that I went in there, uh, like a kid. I was like a kid, and I stretched out my tongue and like made a fool out of him and uh, said something to him maybe, uh, and then I was about to go out. So when I was not ready, this was not clever. And I got the message that I needed more people together with me to go against the highest of the highest and be effective and break uh, all of his power and, and really have a, a huge impact on him. So that's also why I want us to connect so that all of us together can pray against the the really 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 highest of, of the highest and make an enormous impact um, then we can stop the the fishy things in the air and we don't have to to catch all the planes that are crashing but let's catch the planes because that's extremely important and it will cause huge effects um, in the future yeah so God God bless us all God knows all and uh, let's um, let's do this together is what I feel yeah, let's do this together and we are all one church we are all one we are united so we stand in this we have the same spirit we pray together uh, if we see each other or not we are in this uh, in the spiritual place and uh, so let's go uh, amen god bless